Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball 8-box jumbo. Pick your team number 13, our last break of the night. We've got my colleague Thomas up top there and he's going to help us uh, pop this case open. Oh, sorry, I didn't give you a knife. There's, the, there's everyone right here. Pick your team 13. And I'll take a single box. So you can see the camera up there, and I've got a box right here. Three autos per box on average in this jumbo. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. We've been, had, been, had a pretty wild night tonight, folks. We had the power out for about 30 minutes, which really put a big wrinkle into our evening. We had a big power outage, and then, um, and then we were just... Flipping breaker switches in the back of the building and all that, and then we were we were in the parking lot trying to just see if other buildings were having any issues, and there was just more light out there. It was just too dark inside the shop, and then all of a sudden, this, and Thomas was Thomas was outside too. All of a sudden, this guy breezes by Thomas. Thomas thought he was just walking up the hill or something yeah. like that. Like nothing, Bre makes eye contact with him, breezes right by him, goes through our parking lot gate, which which is open. It's locked now. <laughs> Opens up this big gray transformer box that apparently wasn't locked because Mike was, boss man has been texting me. He said that Southern California Edison said that's not supposed to be active. What? Because the service tag hasn't been looked at since last summer, summer of 2019. Right, so even more mysterious, right? So, so that's why it wasn't locked. But that guy just went in there, and and we saw him breeze right by Thomas. Open that gray box. Flip. He probably flipped. A, did you hear him flip a switch? I don't know yeah. if you, you heard. You heard like a click. Yeah, he definitely flipped it on. So he definitely flipped the switch on, and then all of a sudden the power came right back. And then he just breezed right by. And we were like yelling at him to stop, and he just he just he just like hightailed it out of there and was down the street. That was our night, folks. So that's why if you see... Oh, did I? I don't even know if I uploaded that other Super Jumbo video. So that was... Sorry, let me upload that video while I'm doing this. So yeah, so that was our night, folks. So original part of the video lost due to the power out at the shop. We'll be working to get this part of the part of the video back and upload. We'll post a link, link here. Apologies for the inconvenience. Sad face. All right. So that super jumbo video. Man, I was and I was like ten minutes away from finishing that <laughs> that break too. Yeah, Teddy had like eight more cards to go through. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's uploading right now, and this is eight box jumbo. Pick your team thirteen. So anyway, so that was that was our night. We were supposed to start this break maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. That's all right. I got a little help. We'll be okay. And our first autograph is Zach Veen, seventy five out of two fifty. He's one of the bigger prospects that we're gonna see out of here. That's for the that's for Colorado. That's gonna be for Ross. There is our gimbal in the house. In fact, Ross, he's one of the few players that actually has that we're shipping paper. These are the only four players where we're shipping paper. All the chrome ships and obviously numbered chrome or numbered paper will ship too.
at the moment. Those four are the uh, key players out of draft. Torkelson's definitely a key player. He is your number one overall pick. And that chrome goes to Chris Gerard, who picked up the Tigers straight up. Got Jeter Downs to 150, blue paper. So we'll put, here you can use this too. We're gonna sleeve and top load all of those uh, before they go out. We're just gonna set those aside for now. These these are not numbered. So that, that dude just jammed up our entire evening. Who does he think he is? Who does he think he, who does he think he is? Uh, yes, Bowman does have super fracture. We have we have yet to see one. We've seen a couple of printing plate one of ones, I want to say, but the not not the supers. Not yet. Maybe maybe it'll be in this case. I feel like I feel like we've done enough cases where we can we can say that we're due. There is green Cade Cavalli to ninety nine. And the autograph is going to be Cole Henry for the Nationals. That's John Samuelson with the Cole Henry. Nice. And there's a Jason Dominguez paper to four ninety nine. That'll be for David Covington and the Yankees. Thomas, the big Yankees guy. Is he the real deal? Jason Dominguez supposed to be? I don't even know. So young and it's like barely see him play. Chris Gerard with the Orioles will get all those Hestons as well. Right. But I don't know, the way, way, way you Yankees fans talk about him. <laughs> the hype is the hype is there. Yeah, Zach Veen nice. paper ships. So this BYU quarterback is supposed to be like the next big thing in like football product next year. He can be drafted in like the first round. What's his name? Zach Wilson, I think. There's Torkelson paper. That's for Chris and the Tigers. And there's Jared Schuster to 150. That's going to be for the Braves. Townsend with that one. No, it's Hudson, not Heston. Hudson always jams me up. Bobby Witt Jr. to 499. That's for the Royals. That's going to go to David Lewis. Bean had that was that nice autograph earlier. Yeah, that was a great start, Ross. Sparkle right there, and you'll get all those Zach Bean papers too.
there's the paper right there. See, there's that Zach Wilson hype is already happening. <laughs> San Diego State. Yeah. All right. Is each one of these stacks a box around mm -hmm. thereabouts? A little less. A little less, all right. And I'll do a quick recap of these at the end. Get a few stacks on here. About a, about a box each. Let's roll. Scouting guys since the fifth grade? Jeez. There's Kyle Nicholas. Uh, going to Townsend and the Marlins. Torkelson and Milan Tolentino to 250 purple chrome for Mark Bissett and the tribe. There you go, Chrome Torkelson right there. Now that that's Thomas back there, J Dog. He has been with the shop for a while. He does a lot of your sorting and shipping, and, uh, and helps out on the floor here at the shop. So you might run into him if you if you visit. No, I don't. I don't think Nick minds not pack stacking, <laughs> especially for these longer breaks. We got Shane Drohan, gold paper, fourteen out of fifty. For the Red Sox, that'll be for David Covington. Oh, Robert Hassel's one of the guys that we're setting aside too. Hans Kraus reveals a Max Meyer to 75. It's another one for another Marlin for Townsend. There's Hans Kraus sparkle for the Tigers. Gamsby is here. Yeah, he has the Dodgers in break 13. Looking for some, uh, some Clayton Beater. Not a seeker, not a chaser, but a beater. And Torkelson paper going to Chris Gerard. Next stack. We got Jimmy Glowenke to 250, purple chrome autograph for Mark Bissett and the San Francisco Baseball Giants.
Jose, you have not been to the shop yet? Not once? You definitely you definitely should. Where 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 are you again? I don't think you're too far, right? Downey maybe? Is that what There's Sammy Infante to one fifty. Blue chrome autograph for John Samuelson and Washington. Bellflower. Yeah, you're not too far. And we've got Reed Detmers, 24 out of 50, gold shimmer autograph for Jimmy Brandt and the Halos. Nice. Oh, Gamzee, you're even closer. You're in Torrance. Yeah, there, there's no excuse. You don't even. I don't. You don't even have to hit a freeway. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Thomas. That's a huge help on this crazy night. What a weird night, man. Yeah. Also reminds me that we need to stock, like, flashlights here. Yeah, just couldn't find one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you rode your bike from Torrance to Marina Del Rey. Yeah, there's no excuse. Popeye Jaspies. Oh, yeah, that's rough. I did that, too. That answer is in the item description, Jack. Please read your item descriptions, ladies and gentlemen. Chris with the Tigers. Chrome Torkelson this time. Chrome Torkelson. And he's a college kid, so we might see him sooner rather than rather than later. This upside down, right side up deal here. Back upside down again. Come on. Chance. They'll open up the regular season against one another, by the way, on the 
Gage Workman to 150. Blue paper. I thought that was Torkelson paper for a second. That would have been awesome. Nick Lodolo, Sky Blue, another Heston paper, that stance looks like Torkelson, it tricks me sometimes, it's Tyler Freeman to 499 for Cleveland, Mark Bissette, Joe Boyle, 250, purple paper. We got Jared Jones to 499 refractor autograph for the Buckos. It's uh, for us. Do another stack of cards here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Okay, what a night. Crazy times. Sparkle. Daniel Lynch to 150 blue paper. Yeah, I've been standing the entire time. Matthew, if you look at our Twitter at Jaspie's Breaks, you'll see you'll see the power outage saga. And in the Super Jumbo video, I tell the story. I'll, I'll tell it again. It, it, basically, we saw what appears to be a homeless guy who got into the, uh, the Transformer thing that we didn't think was, 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 we were told by the power company was not active. Turns out it was because he had flipped a switch 
that turned off the power in the building, but we didn't realize that. So we were out of power for like 20, 30 minutes, flipping switches on the phone with the power company, trying to figure out what's going on, wandering outside, seeing if anybody else had electrical issues in the buildings next to us. Everyone was okay. And so we were kind of sitting outside and then this dude just breezes right by my colleague Thomas here, who's, who's working here tonight, goes to this large gray box that we thought was inactive opens it up and this is all in like a split second opens it up flips this switch our power our lights come back on we start yelling at this guy because now he's turned around and he's running away you know and there's trent palmer to 150 and then there's connor phillips blue chrome autograph to 150 jimmy brant so yeah and then he just starts running down the street right past the van store the shoe store near us He's like in two hoodies. He's got a backpack with boots hanging off of it. He's he's got like these these saggy red shorts. Half of his ass is hanging out, and I don't know what I don't know what was happening. And this all kind of happened in a matter of seconds. We thought he was gonna we're gonna yell at him. Maybe he was gonna stop and turn around and kind of give us an explanation. Maybe he's like yell an apology or said I was I was on accident. I was looking for I don't know something nothing silence. And I don't know, in the time of a pandemic, he did have like a bandana or a mask on or something like that. But in the time of a pandemic, I didn't really feel like tracking down some random dude and accosting him. <laughs> I was actually outside. I didn't have my, my, my mask on with me. Otherwise, maybe I might have. So it was a weird night. That's why... And I was supposed to start this break ages ago. Yeah, some kind of oppo clause. But it was a wild it was it was a wild day. We've we've got him on camera. So it is confirmed that it was him that he was fiddling around with it. My speculation my guess is that I suppose it could be sabotage, but I can't imagine. Um, it'd be pretty sad, but if that were the case, but I, I, I would have to think that uh, I would have to think that this person probably was homeless or something like that, and maybe thought that that was a a. a an empty storage container that he thought he could maybe take some shelter in or he had a big backpack on maybe he maybe that backpack accidentally switched things off and then he wandered back around this area and realized that he might have shut the power off to our building There's a nice orange jack blomgren it's 25 nice one for the rocks ross ross gimbal with the rockies something like that And then realized what he did and came back and switched it back on? I don't know. It was definitely the same person that came back, though. So why would he just come back and turn it back on? I mean, if, if it was really like... If it was really like, you know, insidious, wouldn't you just turn it off and leave it off and not come back 30 minutes later and turn it back on? It was Justin Lang to 499, which which is why it makes me think it was an accident. So, it was pretty weird because I was on the phone with the with uh, with the boss man and 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 they had they had the power company on on their phone and we we're talking through the phone and all that sort of stuff and then all of a sudden was, I was just like what the f. Hey, I was like yelling. Yeah, I saw them on the phone. They were like, what's happening? What's happening? And I was like, this guy just came in and turned the power. So random. There's Jordan Wogu. Oh, you think it was Thomas? <laughs> Paid him to turn the power off to go home early? Uh, Jordan and Wogu going to EA and the Cubbies. So, 
So. So much, so much for getting out of time on a Friday night. Or your Saturday, my 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 Friday night. This is my. Looking forward to the weekend, before this weirdness happened. You had a bird in your store, Matt. We have, uh, you probably hear in the back, we have, we have crickets in the store. We have a little, crickets have found shelter in our short store, so we gotta, we gotta get rid of those guys. Another Heston. Another Zach Veen. We got a Jaron Duran, Sky Blue. Those are not numbered, but obviously they ship. Going to David and the Red Sox. There's uh, Adrian Coffey to 150 for the White Sox, EA. Get some pet lizards? Should we just have like lizards roaming around just taking care of these these crickets? It where is it? Just shake shake it out, scare it out. Scare it out, Teddy. That thing has no fear of humans. It's just sitting there mocking you. Can you believe that? I don't get it. Took you about three weeks? Are we talking about the same kind of bird, Matthew? There's Logan Gilbert, green paper to 99. Oh. <laughs> the bird had, had, had done its business on a, on a bag. Man. Oh, because your landlord wouldn't take it. Just a bird roaming, roaming around? There's Adley Rushman. Paper Torkelson. Another paper Torkelson for Chris Gerard here in Pick Your Team 13. This is our last break of the night, folks. Hopefully you understand that after a crazy day. There's Cody Hosey. And there's Patrick Bailey. He's got to work on that auto. Come on, Patrick. That's for Mark Pissett and the Giants. Anything else that's sold out will be going off tomorrow. No late night tonight. Another paper Torkelson.
still out on the field. They're not moving. I think Brady knows that he made that decision on that last call. You know what? We're going to go for it. So on third and six, they probably wanted to get half of it. They got four, and so now brings up a fourth and two. And we got a Jordan Westberg autograph. That's a 250, 180 out of 250 for the O's. Chris Gerard with the Orioles. Started a banana craze after among MSU fan base after using one as a faux radar gun in the dugout. Prankster. Funny guy. And we've got Garrett Mitchell. That's good use of the canvas right here. 203 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Brew Crew. EA with the Brewers. Some more stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. There's Matthew Dyer. For the uh, Mets, that'll be for Steven Schwartz. And we got Tyler Brown for the Astros. That's going to go to Josh Lucas. And then there is Matthew Dyer. That goes once again to Steven Schwartz and the Mets. Robert Hassel. Torkelson Chrome. That will be for Chris. Any more top loaders. Yeah, that's a 
Zach Wilson, the real deal? There's Mason Wind, 250. Andrew Vaughn to four ninety nine. And we've got Xavier Warren. Xavier with a Z. Yeah, he's going Z for Z. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've seen that. That goes to Brewers. That'll be for EA. Another Zach Veen for the Rockies. We got Adam Seminaris, purple paper to 250. Joe Boyle, 250, Purple Chrome. And a Sparkle autograph. 71 out of 71. Jordan Walker, Cardinals, Townsend. Nice, 21st overall pick. That's pretty strong. And a nice parallel, too. Hey, 
There's Jack Blomgren to 250 for the Rockies. Robert Hassel, Padres. All of those will go to Chris. Chris also has the Tigers. You'll be getting these paper Torkelsons as well. Eddie C saying that's a big hit right there, the Jordan Walker. Sky blue Torkelson and a green Torkelson. This is to 99. This is 20 and 20 insert. I feel like we have not seen too many uh, Torkelson parallels, Chris Gerard. But here's one right here. A sky blue parallel. These ones are not numbered. How much that? That edge looks a little. I don't know if that's just dust, but could be just be cardboard dust that could be clean. I just wanted to pop it into the top loader right away. Nice sky blue Torkelson. We've got another chrome Torkelson as well. And an orange Robert Hassel. 8 out of 25, also for Chris and the Padres. I feel like I haven't seen too much of him, aside from the paper we've been pulling, but that's pretty nice too. And we got a David Calabrese to 150 Blue Shimmer autograph for Jimmy Brandt and the Halos. All right, next little stack here. And of course, we'll do a recap at the end of all the Torkelsons and the autos. Francisco Alvarez, blue paper to 150 for the Mets. Brennan, yeah, I, I, cr I crunched the numbers, and those seven were the only real NFL games that were of interest to me. So we'll, we'll see how they go. There's Jeff Criswell for the A's. Garrett Lessman with the Athletics. Sometimes there'll be sometimes there'll be more. Sometimes there'll be less on the uh, picks for entertainment purposes only. But another paper Torkelson. One of these or multiple of these might grade out at a ten. You think the Vikings are a surprise? The Bucks. I hope not. Bucks minus six and a half is is one of my biggest plays at five units. Along with Pittsburgh plus one, put five units on that. All the other teams have all the other plays have two unit plays on them. Although my Thursday night play was four units. I mean, 
the Bucks Bucks are coming off a of bye, and generally teams off a of bye are pretty good. Tom Brady, especially off a of bye, is pretty solid. And Arians is not a bad coach. I feel like he can take advantage of the uh, of the bye week. Buccaneers have enough of a front seven to uh, to kind of neutralize or slow down Dalvin Cook. Which means you get Kirk Cousins to throw more often. There's Hans Kraus to 50 and Brandon Fat or Fat. Brandon, I fought the law and the law won. 38 out of 99. Diamondbacks, Mark Bissett. Hans Cross, Blue Chrome to 150. I feel like a buy it certainly benefits a team like Tampa Bay the most because they can kind of have a little extra practice time to re-tinker with that uh, with that offense. They've got a Tampa Bay's got a decent defense. J Dog. I think their pass, their run blocking or their run stopping the run. I think they're a little bit better at that. But they've got a decent secondary too. And it's not like uh, it's not like Tampa Bay is short of weapons. They just need to kind of unlock the puzzle. of that offense and that extra week might be what they needed. No, you're just thinking with your Vikings bias. No, I get it. Trust me, I'm probably I'm I'm probably going to wake up tomorrow and end up, end up putting money on like the Raiders. There's Robert Pawson, paper to 499. My other big play is uh, Pittsburgh plus one. I think that's a classic Mike Tomlin spot. I don't think he was happy with his team last time they were playing. And this is the kind of spot where where he where he uh, kind of whips him into shape. <laughs> yes, Ray Hughes, this is live. We don't we don't ever do replays. Uh, we don't ever have replays of our stream uh, playing. So anytime you see me, it's live, unless you're lagging behind, however many minutes. In that case, make sure to hit that live button. This is Matt Libertor. Also, if it wasn't live, you uh, you wouldn't be able to chat if this wasn't live. Pittsburgh's now at plus two. To go Pittsburgh too again. Sakento, uh, are you guys near the beach in Hermosa? Are you asking if Hermosa Beach is near the beach? <laughs> yeah, every everyone in Hermosa Beach is near the beach. We are Matthew Libertor to two fifty. Yeah, every everything everything in Hermosa Beach is at is is near the beach. What what is what is near the beach to you? What is, we're not like two feet away from the beach. Is that near? 
Maybe we need to redefine what near is. Uh, sorry, that Connor Phillips, by the way, goes to the Mariners, Jimmy Brandt. Torkelson paper, of course, they all go to Chris Gerard. No, we're not a block or two away from the beach. We're pretty close, though. Um, we are... We are... I don't know, if I drove my car... To the beach, I'd probably get there in about five minutes. Oh, if you were if you're in if you're kind of familiar with this area, we're where the um, we're at Pier Avenue and Pier Avenue and Fort uh, and uh, Pacific Coast Highway. So where where the if you drive just from the pier, if you just drive up that windy street north and you hit PCH, we're right there. So we are not too far away from the beach. I wish we were like a block or two from the beach. That'd be even better. All right. There you go. Man, what a wild and crazy day. Did the lights go? In the back. What's going on today with the power? <laughs> all right. Anyway. Thanks, everyone, for bearing with us through all the power drama. Big thanks to Thomas for pack sacking this for me on this crazy night. Here's a quick recap of 8-Box Jumbo Pick Your Team 13 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. This is a pretty nice break, actually. I like that sky blue Torkelson and the green insert to 99. That sparkle autograph is pretty strong. A lot of Torkelson base. That could grade out nicely. A lot of paper and chrome, which is great. Some orange Blomgren, some blue. I like a lot of color in the uh, autos, too. Is always nice. Refractor autos. Gold shimmers. I think a pretty nice break overall. And hopefully a nice break for you. And we started, started off with a nice Zach Veen for Ross and the Rocks. And there you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.